Hello, my name is Limerie Cabrera, and I'm the Director of Data Operations and Finance at the Westchester Children's Association. Here at WCA, every number is a story to be told. It's a story of inequity. It's a story of struggle. And sometimes a story of victory. At the Westchester Children's Association, we just don't analyze data, we make it actionable. Data isn't just an excuse for us to make charts. It is the foundation and basis of the advocacy work that we do. Take, for example, our work with youth homelessness. In 2019, we issued the report, Making the Invisible Visible, where we identified that different homelessness definitions from different governing agencies produced vastly inconsistent portraits of what was going on in the county. The difference in the numbers created a gap and there were children and families in need who were falling into this gap and were not receiving the services that could get them out of homelessness. We also realized that in writing this report, there was limited public data on the racial inequities associated with homelessness. So last year, we started digging deeper beyond the publicly available data sets. We reached out to our partners to get additional data and filed a Freedom of Information Law request with New York State. When we did get this data, it was in a format that wasn't user-friendly, and so we did work behind the scenes to make it ready for public analysis. We at the Westchester Children's Association now want to present the official 2021 Westchester County Child and Youth Homelessness Dashboard. We've repaired the data in such a way that it could be numerically and visually broken down by school district, by age, and by race. We broke down the data as much as we could so people could have truly informed, engaged conversations about what's going on in their local community. We brought in data from the differing government agencies into one dashboard so we could all start breaking down these data silos and these different definitions. In many cases, we compared and contrasted the racial demographics of children experiencing homelessness versus the racial demographics of the general population to highlight the disparities that exist when it comes to stable housing access. We've already received some feedback from our partners in the nonprofit and government sectors, and we're taking note of the questions being raised when we are looking at the data. Are we doing a good enough job identifying children and families experiencing homelessness? Do families know where to turn to when they're in crisis? These questions pave the way to improvement in the way schools and communities track homelessness and housing instability. We're creating connections between organizations, agencies, and partners who work with children and families so we can narrow the data gap and therefore the service gap that endanger children and youth experiencing homelessness. Here at WCA, we believe that giving data and the tools to analyze that data allows all of us to be powerful advocates for children who face homelessness and inequity. We will continue to make sure that every child, regardless of race or zip code, is healthy, safe, and prepared for life's challenges.